Namaste children. Today I am going to teach the fourth unit. The unit name is electronic spreadsheet. Let us see the session objectives now. In this session you are going to learn about electronic spreadsheet and you are going to learn about LibreOffice Shoot. What are all the applications present under LibreOffice Shoot? And then you are going to learn detail the about LibreOffice Calc, how to start LibreOffice Calc in Windows operating system and what are all the parts of LibreOffice Calc and then how to enter the data in LibreOffice Calc, what are all the mathematical operators you can use in formula and then simple calculations using values and operators. Everything you are going to uh, learn from this session children. Introduction to electronic spreadsheet. Children, in our day to day life, we have to perform various calculations. To calculate, sometimes we use fingers, sometimes we use calculator. If it is very complex, what we will do, we will use scientific calculator. But nowadays, we are using computer for calculations. We are doing calculations using some applications. Calculation we are using. Uh, is a spreadsheet application not only calculation to analyze data or to draw graph everything you can do with the help of electronic spreadsheet the spreadsheet means what S spreadsheet is an application tool to perform all kinds of calculations easily and accurately now let me explain about LibreOffice Shoot. Okay. Under LibreOffice Shoot application, you have uh, many tools. One is LibreOffice Writer. Another one is LibreOffice Calc. Third one is LibreOffice Impress. Fourth one is LibreOffice Base. LibreOffice Math and LibreOffice Draw. Six applications are there. LibreOffice Writer is used for creating documents how we are using uh, word word processor ms word like that we can use libreoffice writer same way if you want to calculate anything in um, microsoft application that is excel we will use no here you are going to use libreoffice calc hope you have learnt already excel software in lower class that is in 7th standard i hope uh, uh, how you will create a presentations using ms application ms office application powerpoint here you have libreoffice impress to create database you can use libreoffice base to create mathematical functions you can use mathematical formulas if you want to type question paper like that you can use the math application likewise if you want to draw anything you can use libreoffice draw these are the tools present in LibreOffice Shoot. Next one is, we'll see the spreadsheet software. What are all available in market? MS Excel is a spreadsheet software. This was developed by Microsoft company. LibreOffice is the uh, spreadsheet application developed by Document Foundation. And then OpenOffice and the Star Office, both the Open Office Calc and Star Office Calc both are developed by Sun Microsystems. Now let us see the uses of electronic spreadsheet. Using electronic spreadsheet, what you can do? You can create accounting documents, you can manage the financial statements, and you can create data reports, you can generate invoices. Invoices is nothing but bills. Okay, suppose if you are uh, keeping a shop. Uh, in that you have to prepare lot of invoices, uh, bills, no, uh, to your customers. You can create using this software. Data analysis, you can do data analysis and then you can store the data. What are all you typed in the spreadsheet application, you can store. And if you want to uh, take copy, you can manipulate that files. Okay. And you can create a graphical representation of data. Suppose if you want to... Uh, do analysis 
um, for example if you are uh, uh, having a shop you want to do see the um, uh, sales during the month okay for example what is uh, the, this is december month no november month how much uh, you sold okay like that if you want to see and if you want to compare two month sales you can do it using the uh, data what you typed and stored in a file you can um, with the help of data you can create a graphical representation and you can compare okay everything is possible in electronic spreadsheet not only that you can perform the following activities also what are they you can do tabulation of data you can do the simple calculations you can do complex calculations also okay you can arrange data in ascending and descending suppose if you type in a haphazard way if you want to arrange an alphabetical order you can do it you can filter the required data for example our, you know in our school um, uh, class teachers or subject teachers will type the mark list and uh, d uh, what are the students uh, details uh, databases in computer no suppose if they typed uh, uh, all the six section in one file they want to uh, take the uh, print out of only one particular section you can filter the required data for example all the six section a to f uh, already you typed in system if you want to take only b section you can filter that you can select b section alone and uh, give the print command okay likewise you can filter the required data and then you can check the validity of the data then you can protect the data using passwords while saving the file you can give password so that no one can open your file without your permission you can save the data as for your future use okay these are the functions or activities of spreadsheet spreadsheet is a long sheet of rows and columns on the computer screen okay so only it is called as spreadsheet okay it will spread the whole display area okay to do data analysis and calculation how will you start libreoffice calc libreoffice calc in windows mode how to open i am going to give demo but in uh, linux operating system also you can use in our lab we have linux operating system so in our lab if you work you can uh, do it in uh, linux operating system but in my home i have only windows operating system if you don't have linux operating system you can use windows operating system in both the mode it will work okay so don't worry i will you open libreoffice uh, calc in your system in the desktop you have already downloaded the libreoffice you know double click over there under libreoffice shoot you have libreoffice calc application you click that and then get into libreoffice calc now i'm going to give a demo for understanding the libreoffice calc okay here i'm going to type libreoffice where it is libreoffice under libreoffice you have to choose libreoffice calc okay this is a libreoffice calc screen on the top you can see the title bar in title bar what it is displaying untitled one this is the default page of libreoffice calc you didn't name the file so it is displaying untitled one okay the default page right hand side you can see minimize button restore button and then close button under the title bar you can see the menu bar okay in menu bar you have how many menus 11 menus totally file menu 
under file menu you have new option open save close save as option export everything edit next uh, menu is edit menu under edit menu you have undo redo cut copy paste special everything is available in view menu you have normal page break view toolbars formula bar status bar everything is present under view menu under insert menu you have image chart media object shape whatever you want to insert using insert menu you can insert okay next one is format menu under format menu you have text spacing align everything next one is style which style you want you can choose for your spreadsheet next one is sheet option if you want to insert the sheet or row or column or if you want to delete that also possible using sheet menu next one is data using data menu you can do the sorting ascending descending and then if you want to select range you can you if you want to validate your data if you want to find out the subtotals everything is possible the subtotal consolidate and all you can uh, learn it in 10th standard okay it, this is this two or 10th standard portion tools next one is tools under tool menu you have spelling auto correct option goal seek solver okay protect sheet using the protect sheet option you can protect your sheet next one is window window menu you have two options new window and close window okay using close window you can close the window next one is help menu okay these are the 11 menus present in menu bar under menu bar you can see the standard toolbar under standard toolbar you have formatting toolbar standard toolbar you can see new button open save cut print everything every tools are present in standard tools are present in standard toolbar <coughs> next to standard toolbar you can see the formatting toolbar in formatting toolbar you can see the font style font size uh, font bold if you want to give bold face italic underline everything using formatting toolbar you can give under formatting toolbar you have name box and formula bar okay x uh, in electronic spreadsheet that is spreadsheet application you are going to use formulas okay so this is formula bar here you can type the formula okay whatever formula you are typing in the worksheet it will be displayed in the formula bar then what is what do you mean by name box name box <coughs> here you can see the rectangle box many rectangle box are present here no these rectangle box how it framed intersecting column and row makes a cell intersecting column and row makes a cell this is one cell this is another cell this is another cell like that many cells are here okay in spreadsheet application columns are named by alphabet have you noticed that columns are named by alphabet rows are named by number okay rows are named by number columns are number named by alphabets a b c d z till z <laughs> it will go <coughs> after z how it named a a a b a c a d like that okay like that 1 2 3 4 are numbered by number columns are numbered by alphabet suppose what do you mean by cell address cell means i already told intersecting row and column forms cell okay cell address means everybody is having our own address no okay likewise cell is also having its address how to find out the cell address see i am taking the mouse pointer to o column okay in which row i am in now eighth row okay this is highlighted no eighth row o column so how to tell the cell address how to tell the cell address first you have to tell the column heading followed by row number 
column heading followed by row number. O8 is the cell address. Okay. Next one. If I keep the mouse pointer here. What is the cell address? Tell me now. In which column it was? L. L column. No. Row number 17. So L17 is the cell address. If I keep the mouse pointer here. Tell me the cell address. O20. If I keep the mouse pointer there. Cell, tell me the cell address. Q9. Suppose if you don't know how to find out the cell address, you can go the go to the name box and find out the cell address. What is the cell address? Q9. If I keep the mouse pointer here, what is the cell address? In which column I mean? R column. What is the row number? 18. So R18 is the cell address. See the name box now. R18. It is displaying R18. Okay. If I keep the mouse pointer in column S. Yes. See the column heading S yes. row number 21. S21 yes, 21 is the cell address. Likewise you can find out the cell address using name box. Okay. Below the worksheet area you have navigation button. These are called navigation button. Next to the navigation button you have sheet tab. Okay. If you want defaultly only one sheet is available. Sheet 1. It is sheet 1. Suppose if you want to add more worksheets using the plus symbol you can add. If I click plus symbol it will insert one more sheet. Okay like guys you can add the sheets, worksheets. Under the sheet tab and uh, navigation button you have another bar that is scroll bar. Sorry status bar. In status bar it will show the sheet number and then right hand side you can see the zoom slider if you want to increase the size of the zoom size you can increase if you want to decrease you can come to left hand side if you want to increase you can go to right hand side okay, plus minus symbol are there using that you can increase or decrease suppose come see the number if it is very small in size means using the zoom slider you can increase the zooming size and see the number easily. Okay. Then this side you have scroll bar. These are scroll buttons. Using this you can go up and down. Okay. Now I'm going to explain how to enter data in a spreadsheet application. Suppose if you type letters in, sorry, how it is aligned if I type text or alphabet in a cell, it is aligned in left hand side. If I type number, how it aligned? Right hand side. If I type symbols, how it aligned? Type that and press enter. Then only it will show uh, where it is aligned. Left hand side or right hand side. If you type alphabet or text or character, it is aligning in left hand side. If you type numbers, it will go to right hand side. If you use symbols, it will go to left hand side like alphabets. Alphabets and symbols are aligned in left hand side. If you type number in spreadsheet, it will align in right hand side is a important one more question if suppose they may ask the same in question answers to two more question also they may ask so read this uh, the how to enter data how the data is aligned in spreadsheet so like this they will ask okay next one is simple calculations children you know the mathematical operators already you learnt in maths Max subject, is it not? What are all the mathematical calculations? What are all the operators? Plus symbol, minus symbol, and then multiplication symbol, division symbol. Four are there, no? Exponentiation also you can add. Square, I mean power value. Okay, five are there. Plus, plus symbol, minus symbol, plus symbol, minus symbol, then what? 
multiplication symbol what you have to type you have to use the star symbol that is present in uh, above number 8 okay next one is division symbol slash symbol you have to use okay two types of slash is available one is front slash another is black slash no front slash you have to use okay these are the four mathematical fifth one what i said exponentiation exponentiation symbol where it is present exponentiation symbol is present in number keys above number six uh, it is present this is exponentiation using this five operators you are going to calculate for example first let me do addition 30 plus 40 what you will get 70 okay so how will you use formula equal to any formula if you want to use in spreadsheet you have to use equal to you have to begin with equal to symbol equal to what is the first uh, value 30 first operator plus addition i am going to use plus 40 after typing this press enter what is the answer 70 Another method also you can find out the value. How? 30, 40 you type, no? Equal to, you need not type the values. Go to the cell address and select the address, cell address. And then use the, go to the D3, no? Cell address I type, da. And then type the operator that is plus symbol what is the cell address e3 e3 70 is the another method likewise you can do the addition subtraction i am typing first value second value 20 how to find out the cell address using the cell address method d5 d5 minus e5 20 next one is multiplication equal to 50 sorry first value 50 50 into multiply with what symbol 2 what you will get 100 no equal to what is the cell address d6 d6 what you have to use multiplication symbol star symbol d6 into d6 100 division how to do division how to do 100 2 equal to 100 instead of division symbol what you have to use slash symbol divided by 2 you can use cell address also what is the cell address D7. What I said, if you don't know the cell address, you can see the name box I said. D7 is the cell address. D7 divided by D7. Okay. Same it is. Likewise, you can do the simple calculation. How to use the exponentiation symbol? Suppose if you want to find out the 2 cube what is the answer of 2 cube how will you find out equal to 2 exponentiation symbol 3 3 cube if you want to know equal to 3 exponentiation symbol 3 equal to 4 if you want to find out 4 cube exponentiation symbol Likewise, you can find out the values. Okay. That's all, children. Today's session over. How to come out from LibreOffice shoot? LibreOffice Calc. Click the file menu. What it is showing? Exit LibreOffice. One option is there. No, click over there is asking whether you want to save the file or don't save if you don't want means you can click don't save if you want means if you can select save i'll click don't save i don't want this so don't save i gave 
Okay, children. What are all the so far? What are all you learned, children? What have you learned from this session about electronic spreadsheet? Then. You learnt about LibreOffice Shoot and LibreOffice Calc. How to start LibreOffice Calc in Windows operating system? What are all the parts available in LibreOffice Calc? How to enter the data in LibreOffice Calc? What are all the mathematical operators used in formula? And how to do simple calculations using values and operators? Everything we saw today. Is it clear to you, children? Okay. Just to go through this. And then you have to download the LibreOffice Shoot application. It is a open and a free software. You can download it from net and uh, try this, children. We'll meet in the next session. Thank you, children. Thank you, children.